had to pay a pretty good bit for this one because they're pretty much all right now for whatever reason going really high even though it's summertime i think it's because there's not really a whole lot of units out there the units are counts low right now so everything's going high way more than i wanted to spend but we'll see how it turns out looks like it's gonna be some interesting stuff in this one um it was on storageauctions.com i actually had to pay 930 dollars for this one so hopefully we find some good stuff so we can it'll work out good but we will see when we get there and they open the door when you buy these things online it's hard to tell sometimes sometimes they open that door and i'm like what in the world did i buy sometimes they open the door and you know it's going to be good so we will see here in just a little while driving down the highway canton george is where we're going where this unit's going to be today got the 26 foot u-haul and i got keith helping me load today okay. so it's going to be an inside unit which not my favorite because it takes longer to load these things having to go up and down these hallways but maybe it'll be a little bit cool in there today because it's like 95 degrees scorching hot out here today so hopefully they'll have a little bit of air running in this thing today cool it off all right we just got here actually we've been here we just got over to start loading the unit like i've said before this is a u-haul facility strange stuff always happens at u-haul you never know what's going to happen go into the office the two guys in there they've never done an auction unit before don't know how to do it they call the assistant manager he's never done one before he doesn't know how to do it he calls somebody finds out how to do it writes it all down in a little book and he's off but he comes in on his off day to let me pay for the unit and ring it up so i was in there for about 45 minutes when it should take five to ten minutes so we're off to a slow start so far every unit that i get online is always on another floor you know up the elevator and way on down the hall somewhere never convenient Yeah, the good thing is it is air conditioned here it's it's nice and cool some of these places are not very cool but this one it's like an office building in here got carpet got ceiling tiles all right now hopefully this code works there's a lock on here okay so i gotta go back because they gave me a code for this but they gotta unlock that it's wasting another 10 minutes we finally get them to come take the lock off we took this lock off the combination of this. Now we're gonna see what this thing looks like. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that sucks. RTD2 if I was being on it's broke. There's a gun of some sort right there. Probably a BB gun, but I have to move something to get to it. Just safe. Look at all the stickers on this guitar. Spider Man, Batman, The Simpson stuff. All right, let's see. Two guns in there. All right, so we do have a safe locked up. We have a gun case, let's see. It's no. like a piece of a gun. Okay, that third one I saw was just a barrel. So we got pieces and parts of a gun. It's not a big gun. Yeah, but it's missing a lot of the components of it here. Pretty cool mantle. So we got gun we got some gun parts. A little basin bowl. It's stuff falling. Yep, man o'clock. Let's see what's down here. It's empty. Easter wood. Premium buffing compounds. We got some tools here. Batteries and charger. Here's a snap-on charger. Blue point.
Look at the saw blade here they painted a little birdie on. It's an odd unit. So that's empty. That looks like motorcycle parts, handlebars. Oh yeah, motorcycle handlebars. Generator. All right, there's an R2-D2. It's like a cooler, but unfortunately, the top up there is busted and broken. So that stinks. There's a lot of odd stuff. Look at this wooden frog right here. This is cool. There's uh, some kind of speakers back there. Can't get to them right now. Drums. Yeah, there's drums all over the place back here. Here's a Star Wars big pillow. There's like a set of lockers back here. Oh, this is cool. Look at this shade. Look at these lockers right here. The doors oh, that's slide in. Look at that shade right there. There's an old jug. Yeah, I don't want to move it in one hand. In the bottom of there is like a bunch of big cable. This is one of those rain sticks. Okay, here's pictures of the guy. He's got, he's playing his drums and he's got a motorcycle here in these pictures. I'm not going to show those on the camera, but a lot of really odd eclectic stuff. Look at, what is this? Just a weird piece of wood. This looks like either Star Wars or Star Trek. <laughs> Lucasfilm, this is Star Wars. There's a bunch of stuff down in there. Here's a C3PO. Pez, it's disgusting on the back. But. Stools, furniture, here's um what do we got Star Wars Masterpiece Edition. I don't know if this is a puzzle. Large Deluxe Illustrated History and Exclusive Anakin Skywalker Large Collector Figure. I don't know if there's anything that it's wow. Is that Anakin? Anakin Skywalker large collection? That looks like Obi Wan. Oh, Darth, <laughs> Darth Vader, Vader toaster. toaster. <laughs> cool. I don't think I think this is um Obi Wan though in the in here. Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. We got, this is, there's a lot of unusual stuff in here. I don't know what, what is that? I don't know. Here's a bone of some sort. There's some little people in here made out of like, I don't know what it's like, some kind of plaster. Oh, look at that drum up there. It's like, oh, it's an African drum. And a rooster. It's like everywhere you look, there's odd, weird stuff. It's hard to take it all in at once. We got some weird art. Some burned CDs here. Black side See, there's young Anakin Skywalker with the shadow of his Darth Vader. Man, I just wish that, that top wasn't broken. I don't like the mattresses in here. Look at them. How am I going to move these things? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. There's like tons of like car or boxes for car parts. I don't know if they're actually in here. Generator. Are these things are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. not There's like a record player. It's like jammed full. This is cool. This little metal organizer right here. What is this? Some kind of weird piece of pottery. A lot of weird like homemade type stuff. I mean, what are these seats for? Think a minivan? I'm thinking maybe like a like the back seat in a pickup truck, an extended cab. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff, but it's wiping off. There's a futon here, it's white, but it just kind of wipes right off. A box. I, mean, there's, I don't know what's buried back there, but. It's a 
see what's in this box here. Bunch of nothing. What if you, people always have these metal boxes. It looks like there's going to be something special, and then it's just a bunch of crap. Here's a snap-on battery and charger. Craftsman tool, another snap-on charger. If they actually have any snap-on tools, or just chargers. <laughs> so you said that this long case was empty? It felt like it was wide. Some fabric. Well, they, they have a really nice lock on it, so there's gonna be something in here. It's a piece of wire, I'll just sit around. I think, I think there's something, something in here. I bet we can find No, I was just kidding. It's literally just a piece of wire. Oh. That's the lock. Hey. <laughs> it's fishing poles, but it's just like... Do what? Dead what? Burger? Like, you know, a hawk or something? A wing. Mm -hmm. Targets. There's one, two, there's like three, uh, three or four mattresses on the, several mattresses. There's one on the back, one right there. Ski pole. Some random pieces of metal. Um, yeah, it's a lot of odd stuff. Well, I don't know. What it's gonna whether or not it's gonna really pay off or not. I don't know yet, but we shall see. It stinks that R two D 2s heads pops broken. And it doesn't really, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just cracked and you know, I don't know if it could be fixed or not. It's a rocking chair. Some other stuff hidden back there. Mask. Another odd, twisted, gnarly piece of wood. This is kind of cool. Looks like they had hanging on the wall. Or anything in there? Um, not tools. CDs. And in this video, drawer. Video picks. Just weird stuff. What in the world? Can't get that thing open. Okay. Odd stuff. Remove all tool replacement wheels. Organic cleaner and nails. And he's got like some bamboo. Oh, look at these bamboo arrows. Man, them things are sharp as heck. I mean, sharp. Yeah. Is that having, he put metal ends on it, eh? It looks like it either that yeah. or they got lead in them. And then you got the feathers on the end, so. Pencils. Here, statement catch. Let's try them <laughs> <a> out. <lot. laughs> that did get you. <laughs> I mean, them things are sharp. Ooh. What about this box? Got a Star Wars sticker here, and this crazy looking look at this sticker. He's got like a crazy red elephant with an alien sitting in one hand, and oh, it's the band Clutch. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. And I guess that's Princess Leia. And then there's another Star Wars one. 
the band clutch. Some kind of powder coming out of there. Or ring. It's almost like fertilizer. So it looks like old fertilizer. Alright, this big box here is coming open. Is it open on that side? It's open on both sides. Glass. It says glass fragile on it. Bowls in the room. This box here has got a bunch of old glass in it. It actually looks like pretty good stuff, like old kind of false graph, however you say that, say that brand. Oops, I don't break that, Lord. It's like the top of a, I don't know how that didn't break just now. Probably this lamp right here. Um, see some old Pyrex or Vision wear down in there. The box. Oh, here's an old. Let's see. I think this is like old Pyrex bowl. It's just a big jumble. I mean, it's all wrapped up, but it's just a big jumbled up mess. Yeah, old oh, Pyrex. Yep, that's cool. Yep, old Pyrex butter dish with the green flowers on it. That's good. I think this is like one of the bigger Pyrex bowls. And then this, I see more down in there too. Hold that first one. Yeah, it's in really good shape. A lot of times all this color mm -hmm. is all wearing off, but that's in really good shape. And I see there's at least one more down in here that matches it. It's a little bit smaller and like an orangish red. And without pulling all this out because it's just kind of a big <coughs> mess. So lots of cool, good glassware in here. Mimi, I wonder if this was like his grandma or something. Uh -huh. Pat, called yeah. Mimi. Alright, is that good of that toolbox? Yeah. It's a snap on, see? You even I know. don't know that it goes. <laughs> It might go on the front of it. Uh, it could, could. I don't know. Because that kind of has some, had something that hung on the front, on the bottom of it. And they got a uh, rocking chair up here. Let's check these drawers out. Star Wars hot cocoa. Mm. There's a Ruger box. Of course, it's not in here. There's a Smith & Wesson box. Belts. <laughs> and we got some old belts. Kind of a cool belt though. A little trucker belt buckle. Oh my gosh! What? No, it's um... Antique car coins. <laughs> that little... Um, um, yeah, they're like that. I don't even know what they are exactly, but yeah, they're like half plastic. Okay. You need me to grab anything? Yeah. Grab that box over there. This one? <laughs> here you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next, we'll get an old Bridgestone auto parts with metal display shelf there so this unit like me and keith were just talking about it's got a lot of a lot of odd stuff a lot of it's junk a lot of it's um you know not in the best shape but a lot of this stuff actually does pretty good in the auction 
a lot of this stuff will actually do better than it should and then sometimes the nice clean brand new stuff doesn't necessarily do that good sometimes but some of this weird stuff just like these weird pieces of wood sometimes they do really good in the auction there's an old yamaha gas tank and the question is is there going to be enough of it? but stuff like that little wooden shelf right there that old wooden shelf stuff like that does good and as far as you know we'll see what kind of surprises we end up finding throughout all these boxes and stuff i think we're going to find find some interesting stuff and then some of it's you know just going to be kind of junky stuff mixed in a little disappointed that the top of this r2d2 is in there but let's what that noise is something but there's a lot of odds and ends i mean a lot of the stuff is going to add up it's a cool little box right there but stuff like this it just adds up when you, you know you just keep selling it and selling it and selling it there's a little flashlight or something in there and it's hard to really gauge how much you're going to make because there's just so much of it that has to be added up Let's kind of look back here in this corner here. And we got like a frame. There's a motorcycle frame right here. Yeah, it looks like the whole frame tucked back in that corner until you get all this other stuff out. We can't get it there. There's a big drill. Um, music gear. There's some kind of big music stand, like for staging or something. I don't know what this vent here is for, but maybe I can get this open now that I'm back here. We got a big old, this is an expensive cable. It's the like big, heavy, thick cable. Pretty big roll. I really like that too. Get a little Darth Vader mask. A big metal rooster. It's a basket rooster. You can put stuff in it. It's a rooster, isn't it? Yeah, rooster. Some furniture. Oh my, these are speakers. I saw I these from the really side. I thought these were like dress um, chest of drawers. All right, all right. I need to They're out. giant you speakers. Drum solo. See the animal spirits coming up out of it. All right, we're making a lot of headway in the front part of the unit. We still got a long ways to go, but a lot of that's big items, so that'll go quick. Now those two big boxes back here, this is going to be kind of a pain because they're full of little stuff, like loose little stuff. But we're getting there. This ain't an easy one because it's way up here on the second floor down the hall. Um, scorching hot outside, but the good thing is, is it's really, really cool in here. So I mean, when you get off the elevator, I mean, it feels really good. If it wasn't cool in here, this would be miserable. But it's, they got the AC cranking in here. It's not bad at all. It's, basket right here it's got all this like driftwood kind of petrified wood type stuff all down in there a little pump here but some real kind of funky gnarled up wood that's cool right there lots of good decorative pieces I like to put stickers on everything. You got a mini fridge. And here's a pair of okay, they're not powered, they're, they're unplugged. 
pair of speakers, custom model KPC12. Neither one of us have our phones to look them up. <laughs> but it looks like a pretty nice pair. They gotta be at least a hundred bucks for the pair. You know, I think they're monitors. Oh yeah. Because they don't have like an input for speakers. And then we've got a crate. Ooh, that amp back here. Great amp. It's missing the knob there, but they still. It doesn't matter, you can still turn them. There's a wire coming out the back of crap. Nope. Looks like it's all here. It's just got the, the power supply. Oh. All right, we just noticed there's some little pieces of metal and stuff sitting here. It's been sitting here the whole time. But they're in a big giant shell. Huge shell. Uh, there's some writing, like something, you know, that they would shoot out of a tank or something like that, or a big, you know, cannon. All right, if we look up in these big containers now, got a little bit of everything. Record player, we got a Kenwood receiver. We got pots and pans, VHS tapes. Oh, okay. wow, Gold rust. Yeah, that's an official Harley stool because they put the sticker on it. Here's a Jack Daniels things. Jack Daniels things. We got a tin, that's kind of cool. Jack Daniels tin. A Jack Daniels tin. We got cards in here, we got Harley cards. And then I guess these must be just glasses. Jack Daniels with some glasses. A little snap-on. Supposed to be for keys. Some of the pegs are missing. Snap-on keys to success. Key holder. And I think this is some kind of instrument flipped upside down. Oh yeah. Oh wow, what are those called? I can't remember. Um, I don't remember for sure what you call them. Um, not a xylophone. That's the thing that just. You know. Chroma Harp by Rhythm Band. I mean, that's just the, the model name. But, um, looks pretty decent. And there's a, I think there's an animal in here. In this box right here. Take that. Let me get it. I saw it done under this pillow. Yep, Keith, there's an animal. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh Look at this thing. I was thinking. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Is it a puppet? No. Holy crap. Brought, oh, there are some Automotive parts. Like, what is this? Rotor, it's a rotor part. Yeah, there's the Lincoln logs. There's a couple out there. Goodness gracious. Distributor cap. Distributor cap. Yeah, it's, it's new. It's never used. You can... Oil filter. Tons. Yeah, it'd be nice to have something, even just a garbage bag to put all these in. All right, we still got 
some items to go through here some surprises to find um ooh, more car parts rugs a little fireplace we've got something in here an old cigar box that got taped up it's pretty heavy rocks rock collection lots and lots of rocks and this is probably going to be tapes yeah it's yeah it's tapes it's kind of hard to open because the zipper's corroded all right we got some tool odds and ends in here and more car parts falling down in there all right let's check out what's in the wooden box typically these things look really cool and then you kind of just find some just odd junk in them so let's see an old old pneumatic drill some kind of a will and looks like more of the kind of feathers yep kind of Indian type stuff antlers more of what was in that box we already got little leather pouches look at this right here this is cool I guess it's a, it's a powder horn more antlers more rocks more rocks in there some specimens we'll see what what ends up being in there all right we're back today to finish off this unit just got a few things left we already took apart those big um containers they actually ended up folding folding um flat so we could get them but look at this mattress my gosh i mean why would somebody haul this up here to store it unbelievable it's so disgusting but they had a several mattress mattress in here all disgusting i mean that's just this thing was already um like a cream color so you can't probably tell how quite how dirty it is but it's just disgusting and look at that it's just worn slapped out stains all over it but people pay to store these things why i don't know but we're almost done with this one. All we gotta do is pick up these last few things here, haul them down. Um, didn't really find any surprises back here, stuff that we couldn't see that was back here in this back corner. But that's pretty much it for this unit. Um, I mean, we still gotta dig through some of those boxes and might find a few more interesting things, but what you see is what you get mostly with this one. It's a, um, It was a man unit for sure. Some good, some bad. Um, probably not quite worth what I paid for it. It should have been more about $500 or so would have been a better price. But, um, once everything's all said and done, there'll be a little bit of money to be made, but a lot of the stuff in here is pretty rough. So it's not going to be anything spectacular, but there still is some cool stuff, some hidden treasures, a lot of interesting stuff. So, um, you know, it was kind of a fun one to look at and explore stuff like this old um tiffany style light and the old military lockers here and stuff like that that's pretty much it actually when we get done with this one we're heading to get another one so i'll be recording video for that one and that'll be another video after this one so we just keep pumping them out they don't end we keep getting units because this is what we do but if you like this video just le um, hit the like button leave us a comment ask us a question about the unit tell us you know some of the stuff that we don't know what it is tell us what it is if you know what it is and if you hadn't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and you'll have a good one.